Let's add custom recipes and loot tables to our Minecraft mod. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we found ourselves back into other ones more. And in this tutorial, we'll be adding custom recipes and custom loot tables, which means block drops to our Minecraft mod. Now we will start with the recipes because that is a little easier. However, then after that, we're going to do the loot tables. So our blocks will finally drop something. So that is going to be a pretty cool thing. Now, one thing that's quite important in this case is that as with pretty much all of the tutorials, you will have timestamps in the description below so you can jump to whatever thing you basically wanted to take a look at. Please also note that during the loot table segment, we will be adding a couple more blocks because well, or blocks do a di few different things compared to to the Alexandrite and the raw Alexandrite blocks. But let's just first of all start with the recipes. So recipes are governed by data packs. So what you will need to do is under your resources folder, we simply want to right click new directory. I'm going to call this the data folder. In that data folder, we then want to right click new directory. And this is going to be called tutorial mod or whatever your mod idea is. And then instead of there, we'll right click again, new directory called recipe. Now, the first thing we'll create is the recipe so that we can basically take an Alexandrite block and get nine Alexandrite out of it. And also conversely, put in nine Alexandrite into the crafting table and get one Alexandrite block out of it. So the first one in the recipe folder is going to be a right click new file. And this is going to be the Alexandrite underscore block that Jason. So this will actually create the block, right? So this is where we put in nine Alexandroid and get a block out of it. And that is going to be a crafting, a shaped crafting recipe. So I'm just going to type this out and then I'll explain after we've typed this out. As always, of course, all of the JSON files over here are available down below as well. So you can double check that there as well. So we're going to have a type that's crafting shaped. Then we're going to have a category. In this case, it's going to be miscellaneous. We then define a key. This key is going to be A in this case, and that refers to an item. And that item is going to be tutorial mod colon Alexandrite. And then after the second closing curly bracket, we're going to have a pattern over here. That's going to be a list. And that list is going to be three strings. That is going to be kind of like this. And that's going to be all filled with A's. So every one of those strings has three A's in them. Once again, I'll explain that in just a second. Then we'll have a result right here with a count of one. And we'll also have an ID right here. And that ID is going to be tutorial mod, tutorial mod, colon, Alexandrite underscore block. There we go. So what the frick is happening here? Well, the result should be fairly self-explanatory, right? We're going to get one of this particular item here as a result. I think that that's fairly self-explanatory. If we were to do six, for example, then we would get six Alexandrite blocks. I think that that's fairly self-explanatory in this case. Now, the pattern, you might sort of sense a little bit over here. This is a three by three pattern. So what could ever this represent, right? What could this be? This is, of course, the crafting table, right? So if we were to do this and the A's over here would be cobblestone, then we would create a furnace. That's literally the pattern right here. So if you put in spaces, right, a space counts as a, well, literal space inside of the crafting table, while any you know, character right here, which would be A, for example, that one counts, well, depending on the key, what it is, right? In this case, we define a key and that key is A right here. And that A then represents the Alexandrite. That's the way that this is set up for a shaped crafting recipe. And that's basically all you need to know. Now, now when it comes to anything in the data folder, what you can do is you can go to the external libraries and you want to go down all the way to Minecraft client extra 121 or whatever you version you have, you can expand this and then look at this data. What is this data Minecraft? Yes. And then recipe. You have every single vanilla recipe available to you right here. It is super easy. You can basically double check any recipe, including things like, hey, how does stone cutting work? There you go. Minecraft stone cutting. Then you have an ingredient list over here or an ingredient object. We define the item right here and there it is. Then you get the result. That's it. The same thing goes for every single other recipe that is in vanilla. I cannot recommend enough to basically literally just check those recipes. And I mean, at the worst case, you're like, okay, I don't know what, what's happening. Literally just copy it over, right? Copy over the contents of this and then change what is necessary to change. And then you're basically going to be good to go. All right, so we have the first recipe. Let's get the second one as well. So data tutorial mod recipe. We're going to right click new file. And there's going to be the Alexandrite.json because usually the 
recipe is named after what you get out of it, right? So after the result, and uh, that is going to be the idea. Now, this type is going to be Minecraft colon crafting underscore shapeless, right? So it's, it's shapeless this time. The category remains miscellaneous or M-I-S-C. Then we're going to have an ingredients list over here in this case. Those are individual objects item, and that is tutorial mod colon alexandrite underscore block. After the list over here, we're going to have the result, and that result is going to be with a count of nine in this case, and an ID of, well, tutorial mod colon alexandrite. There you go. That is going to be the shapeless recipe, basically meaning that the list of ingredients can be put into the crafting table in whatever order you want. In this case, we literally only have one item, so we can put it into any of the crafting spaces and it's going to get us a result of nine alexandrite. That's literally how easy this can be. Now, of course, there's a couple more things that could be interesting. In this case, however, both the smelting as well as the blasting for let's say the raw alexandrite those are going to be two things i'm actually going to copy over now those are available to you down below in the github repository too so you should be totally fine and i'm just going to show those to you so you can see this is alexandrite from blasting raw alexandrite and alexandrite from smelting raw alexandrite and you will be able to tell that they are fairly straightforward all things considered of course they also have a type this time blasting and smelting in this case they're both under the miscellaneous category. We And you even define a cooking time and how much experience you get from this. That is pretty much the most important things over here. Then, of course, the ingredient and the result. And that is it. That's literally all you need to do. Like I said, the best resource for this is the external libraries, right? The, the, these are probably... I mean, this is so absolutely amazing that you literally have access to every single recipe from vanilla. So... Really, there stands nothing in your way to get this basically done and properly situated. For this first part, let's actually jump into the game and see if the recipes already work. Alright, I found us back in Minecraft and let's first of all take a look right here and you can see we can craft a block of Alexandrite and if I put it into any of the slots over here, I can also get my 9 Alexandrite gems back. The same thing will happen right here where I can put in raw Alexandrite both for blasting as well as for smelting and basically just being able to put that in and something happening you can see as easy as this and there we freaking go and if you have an Alexandrite gem you also will be able to see both of them inside of the recipe book same thing with the block of Alexandrite and also the other way around so that is perfectly amazing and that is going to be recipes for the first part of this video. And now in this second part, we're going to add two new blocks. Now I'm going to, well, we're simply going to do that because I wanted to, for the loot tables, I wanted to show you, of course, Alexandrite block and the raw Alexandrite block. They're literally just going to drop themselves. That is super easy and nothing really that interesting going on there. However, ores usually drop number one experience and number two, they also drop Actually, the raw variant, so they would drop the item raw Alexandrite, right? So we'd be dropping this one right here. And then also what we're going to do is the normal ore is just going to drop one of them or, you know, whatever we want. And then we can make the other one drop multiple ones similar to things like lapis or copper ore. So how about that? I think that that's going to be pretty cool. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate both of the Alexandrite block and the raw Alexandrite block. What I highly recommend you do is you actually go to the GitHub repository and you're going to download yourself the two, well, ores added over here because I'm going to go through this a little bit quicker than I have previously when it comes to adding blocks, right? So this is going to be the Alexandrite ore, both name changed here and name changed here. This is not going to be a normal drop block. This is going to be a drop experience block because that one will also drop experience. It needs a uniform int dot of, and we're going to drop between four, two and four here for the Alexandrite ore, and then we're going to do, do the same thing here. This is going to be the Alexandrite deep slate ore. Additionally, the sound here is going to be changed to nothing. That's going to, then that's then going to give it the stone sound. The second one is Alexandrite underscore deep slate underscore ore, and of course changing the name here as well, Alexandrite underscore deep deep slate underscore or which is also going to be a drop experience or right here or a drop experience block right here with a uniform int of and let's say between three and six why not 
And here, we're also going to give it a little bit more strength. So this is going to be five. So it's going to be harder to break. And also, we're going to give it a sound type of deep slate. I think that that is fair. Because, of course, the Alexandrite ore right here is embedded in deep slate. Then we're going to add the two ores. Those are, of course, also available. And then we're going to run down quickly through all of the JSON files. Now, that is literally as easy as simply copying the ones over that already exist over here. And I have copied in my clipboard the name Alexandrite underscore or. And that is basically, I'm just going to paste this in and paste it in here. And now all of the JSON files are done for this one. The same thing goes for the Alexandrite deep slate or. I simply copy the name right here and I drag the block into the same folder. I can then immediately change the name by literally just pressing control V over here to paste it in. And there we go, changing the name here. And then the same thing in the item, changing the name here, changing the name here. And bam, all of the ones are done. In underscore JSON file, a similar thing happens. We duplicate the two blocks right here. We change the name here. We change the name here. There we go. And then now this is Alexandrite or, while the other one is Alexandrite Deep Slate or. Now, like I said, all of those are also available down below. So you have those two blocks added properly as well. Of course, they also should be added to the creative mode tab. That is going to be a good idea. The Alexandrite or in the Deep Slate Alexandrite or. There you go. And with having added those two now, we can then go on and actually create the loot tables first for the normal Alexandrite and the raw Alexandrite block, and then for the ores, because the ores ones are going to be very interesting indeed. All right, and now are we set up in order for these blocks to drop something? Absolutely not, because first we need to define what tools they need and what tool level they need, because, well, on all of those, we have called the requires correct tool for drops method. And this is, of course, correct, right? Because this is a gem block. This is a raw gem block. This, these are ores, right? So this is basically stone and deep slate. Of course, all of those need a pickaxe to be broken. I think that no one is going to be saying, well, they don't need a pickaxe to be broken, and therefore we need to define that. The way to define it is in another data folder. So that's the first step we're going to do, and then we're going to add the loot tables. Do not skip this step. If you have anything that's like a required uh, correct tools for drops, if you skip this step, they're not going to drop themselves. It's as simple as that. So in the data folder, we're going to right-click new directory called Minecraft. It is a game that you might have heard of, and inside of there, we need a crazy directory structure. The first one is tags. Inside of the tags folder, we need the block folder. Inside of the block folder, we need the mineable folder. And then here it starts. In our example, we only need the pickaxe.json file inside of the mineable folder. So Minecraft tags block mineable, right click new file called pickaxe.json. Now the contents of this are very straightforward indeed. This is a tag, what, or as, what's known as a tag. A tag is just a collection of blocks, items, or other uh, entities, elements that are added by Minecraft that are grouped together with a similar purpose. So in this case, we're going to have values here and the values is a list. We're also going to have a replace over here and we're going to call this false. And now the values here are tutorial mod colon alexandrite underscore block because once again, the block is going to be, well, only mineable with a pickaxe. Then we get the raw alexandrite block. We get the alexandrite ore. And lastly, we get the Alexandrite deep slate underscore or. Make sure that all of those are spelled correctly. If you have a typo in any one of them, then you might run into a lot of issues. So just keep that in mind, right? Now that is totally fine. And now our blocks over here are mineable with a pickaxe. And if we had loot tables, they would now also drop something. However, number one, we don't have loot tables. And number two, maybe what we're going to do is we're going to say, you know what, the deep slate or I actually only want this to be mineable with a diamond pickaxe. And honestly, I kind of feel like all of the other ones, they need an iron tool at least to in order to actually mine them. Because right now, they can all be mined with a with a wooden pickaxe as well. And for this, in the data, Minecraft tags block folder, here we can create three new JSON files. The first one is the needs underscore diamond underscore tool dot JSON. Make sure to spell this exactly right and put it into the block folder right here. And the other one, let's do another one that's going to be needs underscore iron underscore tool dot JSON as well. Now, the contents of this are very similar to this. So I'm just going to copy the, this over and I'm going to just change this. So let's say the Alexandrite and raw Alexandrite, they both need an iron tool. And let's say here 
when we have this and then the and then the diamond one that is where only deep slate goes so in theory the alexandroid ore that can actually be mined with any pickaxe while the others are a little bit more restrictive let's say and that's basically how you also set the blocks to what they can be mined with having this set up now finally we get to the point where we can add the loot tables i know it is quite a journey but it is a journey worth basically walking because now well now let's see in data tutorial mode we're going to right click new directory called loot underscore table extremely important that this is written correctly and inside of that loot underscore table directory another new directory called blocks it has to be blocks very important tutorial mode loot underscore table blocks and then in this crazy world of ours i shall be copying over the json files now a lot of people are you know usually not thrilled when i copy over the json files or similar type things but i believe that after i show them it will get sort of you know you will understand why and that is because the json files specifically for loot tables look like this now that is not too crazy that's the normal that's a normal json file where it's going to drop itself that is always going to look like this it's basically always going to be the same thing because you can see the raw alexandrite looks exactly the same the literal only changes are the name right here and then the random sequence so in this case obviously those are super simple and you can literally just copy those over when it comes to anything that's more complicated well then it gets more complicated so the or for example as you can see well that one gets a little bit more complicated so you can probably understand okay you know what i kind of understand why he wouldn't uh, write this out because that is a little bit crazy right like 52 lines over here it is a little bit it's 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 quite a lot uh, anyway so the general idea here is that well obviously when you have an or right you want it to drop itself when you're using silk touch and that is exactly what this first child of the alternatives does right here right so that's the whole idea in this entry and then there's another child and that child basically says hey if it doesn't have the silk touch condition right then we're going to choose the other one and that one drops raw alexandrite but it will also apply a fortune bonus if you have it so that's the idea here but it will only ever drop one raw alexandrite if you want multiple to drop you can take a look at the deep slate ore because that one has also the silk touch where it drops the deep slate ore absolutely no worries but down here it also has a function and that is a set count function between two and five meaning that it will drop between two and five raw alexandrite when you're actually mining this that's the whole idea now luckily in the future we will see the loot tables be done via data gen and that is going to be so much more simple i will also link down below a great article on loot tables if you want to actually make them manually you can additionally and this is once again the best thing to take a look at as well and that is in the net client extra over here under data minecraft yes of course you have loot underscore table blocks and here every single loot table from vanilla is once again available to you so i don't know what else to say but basically the power the entire power is in your hands you have everything at your fingertips to basically take a look at so i highly recommend you do exactly that you have my github repository you have github repository of, of, um, of other mods and you also have the external libraries so you can basically take a look at anything and everything you might need now luckily we finally come to the point where we can now take a look at the block drops and actually see the loot tables in action for the first time so let's take a look all right, finals back in Minecraft. And the first thing to do is when you test your block loot tables, uh, obviously switch to survival mode. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time. Now, in this case, what you will find is that when I use my wooden pickaxe over here, it's already taking quite a long time. And you will find that it's not going to drop anything for our Alexandra block over here because, well, that should only work with our Alexandra ore. And then there you go. And raw Alexandra actually dropped. So that is pretty cool. Now, if I use the iron pickaxe, well, that should work on actually the raw one. There you go. It drops itself as well as the block because that's what we've defined. And then I will need a diamond one. So if I use the iron one on the deep slate, that should not work if I recall correctly exactly. However, a diamond one will work. And there we go. And this actually dropped two raw Alexandrite. There we freaking go. And of course, upwards, it all works. So basically, you always define the lowest level where it works. And there you go. That is block drops and recipes added to Minecraft. Friggin' awesome. As previously said, all of the JSON files and all of the code is available down below. So no worries there at all. And next time in this video, we'll talk about advanced items. Hope to see you there. So yeah.